Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, I've been reading this book. I got it from Chapters slash Indigo. Um, I purchased it because I am an assembly guy. I program an assembly or a PIC ASM code. I'm a big PIC fan. I've been programming uh, PICs for years. And uh, I've been using their, their own instruction set, the ASM code. Big fan of that. Uh, but I've... Uh, I've been wanting to get back into C-related code, and the Arduino uh, code is uh, its essentially a variant of C. So what I wanted to do was get back into it. When I went to school for electronics, uh, we did take some C courses, but it's been so long that I've forgotten a lot of it. And uh, just like with anything, if you don't practice something, you'll forget it. So I've been going through some of the projects, um, writing some of the code and adjusting it so that I can make my own little custom changes, and I've been commenting the hell out of it so that I can remember, uh, so I can remember exactly what everything is doing, and it's been going very well. Uh, the book is a great read; it's very well put together so far. I'm only about a quarter of the way through it, and so what I decided I was going to do was uh, kind of document my progress into going through this entire book. Now, I've done some of the previous projects, and I'm not going to document them, but I'm going to document every one of the projects that I go through from here on in until the end. Certain uh, certain ones I won't be able to finish because I won't have the hardware for it, and I won't be do uh, documenting the hardware or the schematics. Uh, I suggest you pick this book up for yourself because it's been very, uh, very interesting and useful so far, but I will be placing the commented code below. So in any case, let me show you the circuit I've been working on today. This is a traffic light circuit. Um, west, green, yellow, red, east, green, yellow, red, um, LEDs. And so, basically, this is a, tra a traffic control system from east to west, west to east. If I press the, uh, east button, <clears throat> it waits 10 seconds before there's a, before it starts to change. So it allows the traffic to cross the road, or to, to make it all the way across the street. That's the ready yellow blink that's in the program code. Blinks five times, and then west turns green. So you now if, I, if I'm uh, consider these pressure sensors: west side of the road, east side of the road, east side of the road. Now I have to wait ten seconds, and then we will get the same sequence, only changing in opposite directions. East blink five times, get ready, and now uh, traffic can go from east to west. Again, I'll press west again. I'm a car sitting on the west end. This is a pressure sensor. Wait 10 seconds. And then the east lights will go from green to yellow to red. And then blink on the west end five times, the yellow is saying ready, go. In any case, uh, it's an easy to hook up circuit. Uh, you could probably, most of you, well no, I shouldn't say most of you, a lot of you are, are into Arduino, the people watching this, and so you may have done similar circuits. Uh, it is a relatively simple circuit. The code isn't uh, overly difficult. Uh, this code includes uh, uh, if statements, for statements, digital reads and writes, um, and uh, boolean, uh, some some boolean expression, and yeah, it's a it's a neat program. And next, what I'll be doing is a battery tester, and I'll be adding in some of my own little gimmicks to the code that's included in the book. Uh, and I'll be testing. Uh, I'm hoping a uh, an AA battery. In any case, if you haven't seen this book, pick it up. The Arduino Workshop, uh, a hands-on introduction with 65 projects by John Boxall. Thanks for watching, guys.